Hello, I'm Dr. Alan Lumsden, Chairman of Cardiovascular Surgery at the Methodist Tobacco Heart and Vascular Center in Houston, Texas. And this is a Society for Vascular Surgery Briefing on Medical Management of Vascular Disease. Advanced presentations of the most common vascular diseases, carotid artery, lower extremity occlusive disease, and abdominal aortic aneurysm are best treated with surgical or endovascular treatment when compared to medical therapy. However, treatment of these diseases is enhanced by administration of several medications. A combination of medications for patients with vascular disease is very important for prevention of complications of treatment and prevention of other related problems including stroke, heart attack and death. Antiplatelet treatments include aspirin, clopidogrel, silostazole, and ticlet. These medicines prevent accumulation of platelets in the bloodstream that can initiate a stroke or heart attack. In addition, these substances may prevent gradual accumulation of debris inside stents, bypass grafts, and other interventions. Cholesterol-lowering medications are very important for the ongoing care of the vascular patients. Even if their blood levels of cholesterol are normal before treatment begins, Similar to antiplatelet drugs, the cholesterol-lowering group prevents heart attack and stroke and lengthens the patency of vascular interventions. Cholesterol medications have been shown to lower the incidence of stroke during hospitalization for carotid endarterectomy. Protection of the heart during invasive treatment of vascular disease can be accomplished by the administration of one of a class of drugs known as beta blockers. This treatment should be initiated during the weeks before, during and after the procedure. A large number of clinical studies have shown that this class of drugs is a significant player in cardiac protection during the stress of invasive treatments. These drugs work by slowing the heart rate and preventing the heart from developing a fast, stressful rhythm. Patients with chronic obstructory pulmonary disease or emphysema typically should not take beta blockers because these medications can worsen the lung disease. Chronic treatment of high blood pressure is also beneficial to patients with vascular disease. High blood pressure is known to accelerate arterial injury. Therefore, treatment of high blood pressure may help prevent the development of both occlusive arterial disease and the formation of aneurysms. Failure to treat high blood pressure contributes to both the incidence of stroke and the accumulation of chronic injury to the heart. Good control of high blood pressure is critical to cardiac protection and prevention of stroke. In the short term, patients that undergo surgery with blood pressure that is not controlled have a significantly higher complication rate. There are a wide variety of medications that effectively treat high blood pressure. The medications chosen may also provide the patients with benefits related to other cardiovascular problems. So the selection of medication to treat high blood pressure should be tailored to each individual patient and their assortment of other medical problems. Many scientific reports have noted that patients with vascular disease do not receive or decide not to take medications that slow injury to arteries or prevent major cardiovascular complications, as has been reviewed here. Continued follow-up with and counselling from vascular specialists can significantly diminish this problem. This aspect of care of the patient with vascular disease should be a priority because longer survival and quality of life can be attained through these medications. Similarly, patients with vascular problems should follow the advice of the treating specialist regarding the prescription of medications. Many of these medications can be expensive but most of the pharmaceutical companies have initiated programs to aid those who cannot afford these treatments. Patients should actively work to understand their medications and ask their vascular specialist about each drug. In addition, if there is a medication described here that they are not receiving, they should inquire about this as well. This briefing is possible through a grant from Cook Medical. To learn more about your vascular health, 
visit vascularweb.org.